Wow. That's really good. <laughs> Alright, so we are here at a quick video. Uh, it's the last night here in Mexico City. Right in Mexico. Mexico, yeah. So we are going to the bank. And a quick video here, number 11. And uh, yeah, it's between, it's between this and four. So we chose this one because uh, we thought it's the husband and wife team. It's quite, yeah, it's, quite it's, us. It's quite us and yeah. it's more honest food. Whereas before it was a bit douchey. A little bit douchey. Uh, and here we are at uh, and last uh, night in Mexico. So we dressed up tonight? Yes, yes. My shirt is funny. My shirt funny came out. I ironed his shirt just now. So looking forward to the tasting menu. No oh, right. Violets, salsa rio, chili sauce, the fences, tortilla, whatever. Cocktail. Mezcal, avocado, cream, something, something, something. Fancy. Wow. That's really good. <laughs> you can taste the mascal. The mascal is so beautiful with avocado. Oh my god. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh my god, this is so good. Yes. I have like sardines and jackfruit, I have chili, gooseberries, berries and cucumbers from Las Chinampas. What is Las Chinampas again? It's a method of agriculture. It's a refreshing. Everything goes away very well. I'm so fair, avocado tata. It tastes like meat. What the hell is going on? It's really good. Here, we just had um, tart avocado tata, escamole, and uh, some fried kale. Uh, we just got a pretty thing. The first bite was very awesome. So much. What is escamote? And then we got what escamoles are, and apparently they are just the chipe and the lave of ants that were on the tequila plant, the agave. So, my blood. Yeah. It tasted it amazing. Yucky. It tastes amazing. Okay, so, alright, number four, number 11. Sourdough bread, sourdough bread, bread with mole, and some cultured butter, and some unchurched. Okay, that was the end of the meal. That was a really good meal. It's really good meal. Uh, I'm so stuffed. So we've had a couple of surprises and a couple of uh, misses, but uh, generally it's a very good meal. Yeah. Uh, most probably you managed to surprise feel a us. few surprises that are uh, very nice. The avocado in particular. Mm -hmm. Managed to secretly put in some uh, ant eggs inside there. Lava. Oh, that was really good. That was, that was make that avocado nice. taste like meat. The three sauces was, that was really good. The shiitake mushroom, that Shita was really good. That was like, by itself, the three sauces by itself was like, was so, so, but good. when we put together, my goodness, like, such complexity. Um, the um, dessert was weird. The dessert was weird, yeah. Dessert, the, uh, the last dessert was weird because it was with a burnt buttermilk and it tasted really weird too, for it to be the last dessert. Yeah, it was, it was savory rather, rather than sweet. Yeah. Um, but, um, oh no, it's a good meal. Yeah. Um, it's cheaper it's a, a bit sad that there's no mole, but um, but you can really tell that they're trying to you know put off put off like indig indigenous Mexican ingredients out into the menu. Yeah. Um, like, like grasshoppers, chapulines, and things like that. Escamoles. And uh, and eggs. Uh, sounds so bad now, but uh, it's tasty. They had chico in the menu, so. sapo. 
Uh, it's a bit sad that the Star Lord stuff doesn't speak English but well because you can't really understand the, the, the meaning behind it. It's a bit sad, but um. I think they should have also tell us a little bit about the inspiration yeah, of yeah, the dishes. Yeah, because, I think that's lacking. Like because I think there was a lot of thought that went into it for sure. Yeah, Sadly, but it, yeah. They came, it wasn't delivered. Well. But, Kintonil. Central. That's. We have Central. Central. So this. 